I think a lot of us can agree that the story of Saints Row 3 is kind of a messy one. From Gat dying in the first two hours, to Philippe dying in the first two hours, to Kiki the Winter dying in the first two hours. I mean, let's face it. Prior to the reboot, Saints Row the Third was top billing for having the worst antagonist, with Kilbane being a walking, talking botchamania video and Matt Miller being, you know, British. I'm sorry, AJ. <laughs> the story felt kind of flat, with the exception of the core question it presents. Are the Saints sellouts? With St. Joe III's canon ending being gangsters in space, the Saints have to be, right? I mean, Shandi and her big titties are in the fourth game. I mean, it, I look, it has a number four Roman numerals. But to me, I always thought Stag film felt like the better ending. And I wanna explain why. For starters, St. Joe II kind of portrayed the boss to be a cold-blooded killer that would 110% fuck you up if you messed with him and his crew. And in choosing to kill Kilbane, you do exactly what would fall in line with what you would expect in Zane's Road 2. Revenge. This is the guy that you're after. The guy that invaded Johnny's funeral. The guy that took Angel's mask. Took part in cloning Oleg. Blackmailing Kinsey, caging Zemos, like, and humiliated your crew on national television. Killbane is the guy you've been hunting down to kill. So doing that instead of whatever Bang Bros production they got going on in the other ending makes fucking sense. The only real sacrifice that comes with the stag film ending is the death of Viola and more importantly, Shandi. And with those two ladies brought up, what's the one thing they have in common with one another? Killbane taking away a person they cared for. Throughout the campaign, what does Shadi want after Killbane blew up the bridge? To kill that motherfucker. What did Viola want after Killbane killed his sister? <coughs> Revenge. And do you know what common theme was in the first two Saints Row games? Revenge. Do you see what I'm saying here? Like, Stag Film is the ending for the OG fan base. Returning to the roots, if you will. It's a bittersweet olive branch extended to the fans of the first two games to conclude the trilogy. Also, it's an actual ending. Like how the fuck do you chase down your op for the whole game only for you to be acting with him in the same movie? Huh? Huh? How does that make sense? Huh? We're just supposed to let bygones be bygones after everything in the campaign? No. Stag film is the true ending for me. Now I know what a lot of people are probably gonna be thinking in the comments. But I need a hero. First of all, Shandi did one one hell of a fucking 180 in terms of a character. And not a whole lot of people liked it anyways. So I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people chose Stag because they're like, fuck her, why did she change? What was the point? It makes no sense. At least on the surface. Obviously, I mean, it's like I know they were supposed to introduce Survivor's Guilt and shit like that, but that was in the fourth game to kind of wrap that up. But you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? But that's really just because you didn't have weed in your system. But anyways, I I thoroughly believe that Stag Film is definitely the truer ending for those that wanted something more in line with what Saints Row 1 and what Saints Row 2 brought, even if it is a little bit bittersweet. Because like, Anything beyond that point regarding the other ending and moving that way, like you can tell that's the tonal shift that they wanted to stick with now, but they did at, at the very least extend an olive branch for those. Like they didn't, they didn't completely drag the people that they wanted. They, they allowed you to choose what would be the ending for the Saints, whether it stopped there with Stag in the Stag film or whether it'd be them selling out and going into office with Saints Row 3 and 4. Let me know what you think in the comments, bro, because I want to hear what a lot of people feel about this spicy take.